crafters it's louise with you and i am here on behalf of kitaholic kits this is my first post with them as a design team member and i really have to tell you that the october kits are just bursting with so much fun stuff honestly there are so many pieces in this kit you really are going to struggle to use them all so have a little bit of a look at the kits and pop on over to kitaholic kits so that you can actually see some of those kits but for now i'm going to talk you through a layout that i created for this month Firstly, I have taken some of the papers and I'm going to uh, use the blind crop over in the um, subscribers private Facebook group to inspire this layout. And you can sort of see that um, as I think about these papers, I'm sort of thinking about other layouts that I would create and how I'm going to use the different um, papers and elements in these particular kits. One of my favorite techniques that I love to do is the paper tearing to create layers. So you can see that I've torn two strips and I'm going to feature those down each side. And when I use the strips, I'm also going to just use my fingernails just to roughly curl up those edges. So that helps give just a little bit of texture and dimension to those torn elements. Now, in the center of the page is where I'm going to feature my photo and I've used this photo of my two boys at the beach which was only taken about a week ago so it's a very recent photo but when I saw what was coming in the kits I printed it out straight away because I knew that it was going to work with this particular collection it's so bright so vibrant there are so many elements that would work for anything you know if you were um, scrapping a party these this this kit would work so well um, for a party layout if you were scrapping kids um, you can see the colors any kind of special event it all just works so well and that's what makes this type of scrapbooking easy you know having a kit where all the difficulty has been taken out for you and all you have to do is create just makes things so easy now, the Vicky Booten um, die cuts are also part of the kit, and it's certainly um, hard to pick what to use on a page. At this point, you know, this is the first layout I've created, so I have got everything available to me, and I don't know really what I want to put on the page. So, a lot of this um, what you're seeing me do here is more just backwards and forwards as I decide what I want to put on the page and you know quite often we can fall into the trap where we sort of we don't want to actually use everything straight away so we hoard it and then we don't end up using it at all in which case it's you know pretty to look at but it doesn't actually end up on a page so I sort of have thought that with this um, particular kit I'm going to try and use everything so if I want to put it on a page and I like it put it on a page don't hoard it <laughs> that's my motto to myself with this um, particular kit so sorry while I've been rambling on about my thoughts um, in creating this kit I've done a couple of techniques here and so I'm going to talk you through those uh, I have trimmed those side strips I took an inch off each because they were just a little bit big they were covering up quite a bit of my background paper and then the blue um, strip going down the middle which I love because it helps reflect um, the water in the photo it actually um, I took it off camera and just distressed the edges with my distressor so you can do the same thing with paper tearing if you want to but in this case I already had it done so um, you know the uh, distressor worked quite well now normally if I've created layers behind a photo or in a paper cluster I'll use my stapler to actually hold those together but in this case my stapler has no staples so I had to use adhesive so a good little trick is if you've created something that you like and you're going to put something over the top of it is to actually um, staple the layers together behind it because you're not going to see the staple if you're going to cover it up with the photo and that way your layers are held together and you can add some adhesive. I think probably the hardest part of this um, particular page for me was the title and using um, some of the really great pieces that came with the kit. So what I'm doing is simply just adding um, a couple of bits and pieces here and there. 
I found that the ephemera didn't have any yellow flowers, but it did have these sort of plain ones. I'm just going to use part of the mixed media kit, and that's the colour Artist Ink. And I'm just going to colour that flower um, straight out of the bottle. I could have added a little bit of orange to, to colour the centre of it, but it really didn't need too much. It just needed that little pop of colour, and that was enough to actually um, make it fit more in line with the page. So... When I am embellishing a page, I will fluctuate between um, less is more, but I also really like balance. So I like to keep things in the pattern of threes, and you can sort of see the triangle um, that I end up with on the page. So it starts at the bottom left, goes diagonally to the top right, and then ends in the bottom right where the title um, is actually going to feature of the page. So. You know, I think what I love most about scrapbooking is that there's not a real hard or fast rule and you can really just create um, to your particular preference. You know, if you want to get really mixed media, go ahead, do it. There are no rules. And I know that a lot of my non-scrappy friends will sort of think, you know, it's, you've got to be arty and you've got to, you know, be able to, to do certain things. But in, at the end of the day, you're keeping your memories and that's what it is for me. I really just want to be able to look back on, you know, the creations, but also know that I enjoyed myself while I was making a page. Now this, the, the lettering comes in this um, packaging that has a really great wood grain background. So I just wanted to show you that because don't throw that out. You can use that as a layer um, when you're creating. And eventually um, I decide to title this page, um, Let the Adventure Begin. So finally in um, completing this layout, I'm going to add my title and a little bit of embellishing. You can see that I've used those puffy stickers. Um, everything on this page except for that tiny little bit of twine that I put in the tag I made at the top everything came out of the kit so you can really see that everything coordinates so well and there's no difficulty in actually putting this page together it came together really quick really easy um, it was easy to embellish and it was a lot of fun to put together as well so that's what I like when I'm creating and finally, of course, some of you may not be journalists, but I always at, li at least like to put a location, a date, and maybe a person's name. So I really hope you enjoyed that video from me. Um, pop over to Kidaholic Kits and check out the kits this month. If you um, care to, you can become a subscriber, of course. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the YouTube for other inspiration from the DT. So thanks for watching.